our adventure to Bewilderwood today. We're hoping to have some great fun with the kids. Is everybody excited? Yeah! Yay! See you soon! Right, we're going to attempt the muddle maze. Ready, yeah. William? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. This way. Hey, William. <laughs> you have to go out. Oh, go out. <laughs> oh, you can't go that way. <laughs> I nearly fell down, I put my leg down.
Baby, show me your lolly. Look at those mine go. I'll go. I'll do a funny face. I'm gonna do a funny face. Here we go. Video time. So, have you all had a lovely day? Yes! Excellent! I can see some very healthy amounts of face painting going on. <laughs> Good work, guys. <laughs> have we all met Mildred? No, he's Mildred. The so, purple bug. <laughs> so, right, just for you guys at the front, then quickly, just switch off for a second. Mildred is a thorny crop bog. She's usually very excited and very happy to see everyone, but when everyone's leaving, she gets very, very sad. And that means she gets very grumpy and won't talk to us, so you guys can switch back on. Mildred <laughs> will own. Hmm. Yeah, she'll say hi to you in a rather spectacular fashion. I am sorry about that. <laughs> we saw her do the snorting. Yeah, no, I'm now confused. Where am I? Branch is attacking people. 15 years. 15 years, so I'm sure she'll say hi to you. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the Boggle Village, guys, on the left. I'll tell you that before we sink. <laughs> we won't, really, I'm joking. So. Boggle Village is home to all the Boggles. Swampy lives there with his mum in the onion-shaped house at the back. And that rather colourful house you can just about still see right at the front belongs to Great Uncle Ticklechin. Great <laughs> Uncle Ticklechin <laughs> has got a ridiculously silly name though in fairness. But he is the village's storyteller. He's really rather good at telling stories, unlike me. I just blather on. But he also collects really bad jokes. His jokes are terrible. Do you want to hear one of them? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you ever heard the one about the man dropping a bag in the water? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Really that did. Really <laughs> no. What's yeah. brown and sticky? Um. Stick. You know that one, William. <laughs> I know. Great. So. 
We always forgive Uncle Tickletin for his really bad jokes, especially the ones that aren't in very good taste, sorry. Because he is the oldest of all the Buggles. In fact, he's so old, he's forgotten how old he is. And to be honest, if you've forgotten how old you are, well, we're going to let you get away with nearly anything because you quite frankly deserve it. If you look right down the bottom of the Dismal Dyke, you'll see the entrance tunnel to the Black Marsh. And the Black Marsh is home to a witch. Her name is Hazel. She's a very nice witch, but only nice witches are allowed in the Black Marsh. So, I can't let you guys in there, I'm afraid. But I can let you see Hazel's house. If you look to your left and look through Abby, the bushes. Abby, look. That's where Hazel lives, just in there. Hazel looks after everyone here in Bewilderwood. If there is a bubble or twiggle that's feeling unwell, then she can make them feel better with a simple spell or potion. And then there are the Grubbles. They sing and march. They're a strange bunch. They don't really have a house, so they don't live anywhere. They just march and sing all day long. And this morning, but they do make camp every now and then. They have to have somewhere to sleep. And this morning, as they were making their way to their campsite, I'm sure I heard them singing the Ghostbusters theme tune. Ghostbusters! Yeah, very strange. Their campsite's over there on the right-hand side, which is where they come to mend their socks. Because obviously, with all the marching, they end up with lots of holes in their socks. They'll re-stitch them and re-dye them in the juice of the grizzleberries, which leave them that lovely red colour. They'll then sprinkle on some magic and leave them out to dry. And that, guys, sadly, is everyone. That was our Bewilderwood Adventures. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye-bye.